That's a selfie for social media. It is me, of course. <laughs> but uh, natural, au naturel, four filter. <laughs> Uh, I really appreciate it. Just send me that um, email. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't hear that song for a while. My name's Colin with Cain. I'm a singer songwriter, and I'm here today at my local studios in London recording uh, my song, which I wrote two months ago called The Grass is Greener. And uh, it's pretty amazing to be here today because um, I've just found out that like people like Noel Gallagher, Florentin Machine, um, all these people have been recording here um, over the past few months, uh, which is an honour to be in the studio that they kind of did their work in as well. Uh, well, the grass is greener. I actually wrote very, very quickly uh, on one Sunday afternoon in Fulham. I was on a yoga mat and the song just flew to my head and I couldn't stop thinking about the melody, the lyrics and I was really egging the yoga class to finish so I could get out to my phone and sing it into my phone um, and I did it, it came really quickly I'd say the song came to me in about 20 minutes and I wrote it down, got it done and I came from a real place of heartache and I was in a really bad mental state when I wrote the song. I was really heartbroken and uh, really confused and angry and sleep deprived and all of these things like helped me just use my songwriting to deal with it in a cathartic way and this song was born and I put it on my Facebook. I um, sang it into my phone and uploaded it to my Facebook and within, within 24 hours it had acquired thousands and thousands and thousands of views and over a course of days it acquired 65,000 views and so many people from like all over the world like Nashville, New Zealand, Spain, France, Ireland, all these different countries got in touch via social media saying how much they loved the song and how much it, they could identify with it. Uh, what, just like you know for, through death, through loss of a friend, loss of a partner and that's when the little light bulb above my head just said, right, you need to record this, you need to do something with this song. Um, it's weird because now when I sing this song, I don't think about the person who I wrote it about. Um, I, you know, I, the song for me helped me through a really difficult time and I'm really thankful to to the song because it kind of shone a light in a very dark situation for me and I think this song is a testament just to how much I loved my ex-partner and to how shocked I was when it, my relationship fell apart so suddenly and um, so I think that it really comes through in the song that's my way that was my way of dealing with my breakup and I'm so astounded that it reached thousands and thousands and tens of thousands of people um, so when I sang it today in the studio I was thinking of different things I was thinking of my grandmothers I was thinking of you know my sisters moving to Australia in um, in January and my older sister and I was thinking about her not being here anymore I was thinking about my little sister in Australia and my brother in America and there's so many different topics now that I can take to this song the, the, the person I wrote about actually it's um, I, I, you know, they are the reason it was written, but I kind of, you know, I'm, I'm much better off out of that situation now, looking back on it, and 
actually I'm really glad the song was born and uh, it's given me a reason to come into the studio and do what I do best. Well, the song I'm going to do self-release initially. Um, I'm going to film a music video over in Ireland and I'm trying, going to get it to labels as well. And I would love it to get covered by someone like Josh Groban or Celine Dion, someone with that kind of theatrical vibe going on, because that's my background. Um, and yeah, I would love someone really big and established to take this song and really take it to an international level. If uh, I don't manage to do that myself but I mean I would love to get some recognition for the song as the singer songwriter because it did come from my heart it came from my soul and I'll give it a go and see how it happens but uh, as far as the future of the song is concerned it's my song at the minute and I'm more than happy in the future to give it to a really um, big established artist but I think it's part of my journey and 2016 was a real emotional journey for me because I, I fell in love, I got my heart broken and during that time when I was with my ex-partner I wrote songs about how much I was in love and this song is uh, the song about me not having that love anymore. So the song's really personal to me and it means a lot to me and um, I'm so overwhelmed by the response to the song that I had to get in here today into a fantastic London studio that has a great repertoire of ex-artists. I had to do it right and I had to invest in the song and hopefully deliver what can be a really amazing finished version.